to collect a line in ArcPad. So here we are, we have a sidewalk right here and we're going to collect the sidewalk. The sidewalk has a turn in it, so we're actually going to grab a couple different dots along the way. Whenever you collect a sidewalk, you're really collecting, you're connecting dots and the order that you collect the dots in is the order it's going to be drawn in. So the sidewalk has a curve. We're going to start at the very beginning of the sidewalk and we're going to start in the middle of it. Remember, this is your GPS receiver, your feet are not. So you're going to put your GPS receiver over what you want to start collecting. Now to collect a line using the Quick Capture Toolbar, it is the Quick Capture Toolbar, the fourth one over, pencil with a little checkbox. And then for sidewalk, we, we made it gray whenever we check data out. So if I tap on that, I get across the bottom a new toolbar. And if you look on the far right hand side, you're going to see two icons. One of them is going to be vertex, where you tap it and stand still and it collects several positions and then you move on to your next uh, bend in the line, tap the button again, it collects several positions, it averages those positions to create each dot along the way, I didn't mention that. Um, and then that last icon, if you notice it has three dots kind of along a line, if you tap on that it becomes indented and it's going to get a position a second or however you have it set up in GPS preferences and it's actually going to connect dots as you walk. So you don't have to tap anything, it's just going to get like one dot a second or something and you have more of a chance of multi-path if you use that one, so we're not going to use that one. We're going to use the vertex one. So stand still and then on the bottom of the screen, tap the vertex and if you notice it's counting up to five, remain stationary. Once it counts up to five it disappears. You're going to walk and you're going to walk until there is a bend in the sidewalk. Once there's a bend in the sidewalk, you're going to tap the vertex button again going to count up to five again, remain stationary, and it disappears. On your screen you should see a line. If you don't see a line on your screen, you're not collecting this. Okay. If you notice also there's a building behind me, so how am I faced? My back is to the building. If there is open sky, always put your back to the obstruction. That way your body doesn't also block potential satellites. All right. So we're going to walk on down some until the, si until the sidewalk bends. Tap the vertex again, let it count up to five, and it disappears. So this is going to become very repetitive. Just every bend in the line, you're going to tap that vertex button, it's going to grab five positions averaged together to create the dot. Okay. Make sure you keep in the center of the sidewalk as you go. All right. And now, here I am at the end, I'm going to grab one more vertex. So here's the line. Now to finish a line on the very bottom you have a forward arrow button, the green forward arrow button. That's what you select, that's what you tap on to close out your line and put in your attribute information. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds, just have some patience. Sidewalk ID, this doesn't have an ID so I'm going to skip that. Material is concrete. It is six feet. You would measure it. Condition, it's good. And there is not a photo. I don't need comments. I'm just going to tap my little date collected box. I'll scroll down so you can see it's selected. And then once you have all the attribute information in, tap OK. It is now saved. Okay. So that is how you can collect a line using the Quick Capture Toolbar. We also have another part of the sidewalk that goes this way. What I need to do now is grab this line. Now how come I ended it over there and didn't um, come back here? If I would have continued this line, I would have had a bat, like I would have had a line down there and then a line here as well. It's just like connect the dots. If you sit there and hold your pencil down and draw a dot one, two, three, four, and then draw your pencil back to here, you would have a two lines right here so we wouldn't do that. That's why we closed this line out first and now we're going to start this line. Okay. I'm going to show you how to collect a point using the, I'm sorry, how to collect a line using the edit toolbar. Okay. We're going to go to the edit toolbar, third one over. Now we're going to tap on the pencil drop down and notice the sidewalk has a red square around it as it is selected. What happens if I would select line generic? If I go and tap on my pencil again, notice sidewalk is unselected, so you can only have one line selected at a time. 
So I'm going to go back and select sidewalk again. That's what we want to collect. Okay. Now a little different. With points, you just select what point and then you go and tap your point icon. On here, we actually need to go and select what geometry type. We want our vertexes or streaming um, icons to be stored to. We're going to tap this third drop down and notice it says polyline. Polyline is selected already for us because we use the quick capture toolbar. If you don't use the quick capture toolbar, it's not going to be selected for you and you would need to select polyline right here. All right, now the polyline selected. You have across the bottom, you have that little uh, vertex and streaming, uh, uh, the icons on the toolbar. Notice up near the top, you also have them on your edit toolbar. So if you have an older version of ArcPad, you're not gonna have them on the bottom toolbar. You're gonna have them up near the top. I'll go ahead and use the top toolbar to show you. So you would stand in the center of the sidewalk and then tap your vertex going to count up to five and disappear. All right. Now I can walk on down here. Now do I need to grab any vertexes along the way right here? No, it's straight. So if you have a vertex down there and a vertex down there, the only thing that can be between those two is a straight line. So I can just walk on down here, keep your back to the building. All right. And now that I'm going to grab a vertex again, let it count up to five. There's a line, the forward arrow button on the bottom brings up the attribute table, sidewalk ID, it doesn't have one, material, concrete, width, six, condition, good, check the date box and tap OK to save it. And if you notice, once you tap OK, your map is going to come up and you should see two lines. The last thing that you collected is always going to be selected. Notice how it has a black dashed line around it to let you know that you have collected it. It is saved and good to go. So those are two different ways to collect point, I mean to uh, collect lines. One is using the quick capture and the other is using the edit toolbar. I'm now going to show you how to collect a line using the streaming vertices. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here. Okay. The streaming vertices, they grab one position. They don't average together. So if there's multi-pathing, you're going to get some jagged sidewalks, or, you know, a jagged line. I really don't recommend streaming unless you're, um, you know, doing something where you can't stop, such as, you know, driving a center line. You're not going to want to stop in traffic and, you know, get back ended every, every time the line bends. Or, you know, say that you're actually riding a bike, doing trails, you wouldn't want to stop every time the line bent. So there are purposes for using the streaming. I'm going to go to the quick capture toolbar and it's sidewalk again. So now, all I have to do is go to the bottom and if you notice the far right, you have your streaming icon. I'm going to tap on that. Once I tap on it, notice it's indented. All I have to do now is walk. It's going to collect positions while I walk. And then once I come to the end, I tap on it again to unindent it. And if you notice, you can see those little blue vertexes, or little blue they are vertexes. They're not averaged vertexes. Along the line of what I just collected, forward arrow button, put in the attribute information. You know what, for the sidewalk ID, I'm actually going to put in streaming. So whenever we look at the data, we can see which one was streaming. Material, concrete, six feet, good. Check the date box. Now I'm going to tap OK. So that's how you can collect a line using the streaming function. Here in a second, it's going to save it, and there's the map. So you can see there are two sidewalks right here on top of each other. One was vertex and one was streaming. If you're in the open, the streaming's going to look OK. If you're in any kind of heavy canopy, any kind of an environment that has potential multipath, it's not going to look that good. We are in relative openness here. This whole entire sky is open. There is a building right there and there's a couple trees here, but it, it, we do have pretty good, um, pretty good satellite availability here. Okay. All right, so that's streaming.